Hey, welcome back to the Bad Timing Club. So today what we're going to be doing is finishing up engine assembly. So we've got to rebuild the heads and then we are going to get those installed. So the first thing we're going to go do is pressure wash them because they're just covered in grease from sitting for 25 years. So let's go. So the main thing we're trying to do on the heads is replace the valve stem seals. So those ride on the valve stem and they keep oil from leaking down through into the engine block. So we've got this tool, which is a valve spring compressor. free and the spring compressed enough you can pull out the two retainers on the valve stem and then the whole thing just disassembles. We've got our valve and then some parts to go with it. Here's the valve and then the valve stem seal. So the cylinder head is all broken down now. Um, it's actually pretty clean. There's still a few spots that have some kind of caked on grease they'll have to scrape out. But for the most part, it's pretty good. So going out in the 40 degree snow, the pressure wash was probably worth it. Um, yeah, overall it's pretty decent. So we'll get it cleaned up and then all the valve parts that we took out cleaned out and then we can put it back together accidentally turns into one of those most satisfying channels. Oh, our whole project is most satisfying. So we got the head all cleaned up now and it's time to put it all back together. Got the first valve um, just pushed through so we dip the valve stem in oil. Uh, also put some into the, the hole and then push the valve through. And then next up we just take the spring, the hat and the retainer clips and kind of reverse of disassembly. So we'll just let Faith loose on that. Go kick back and drink a couple cold ones. Come back in five minutes, they'll probably be done. All right, so we got all the valves installed and we're ready to like put it on the engine block now. Faith's cleaning up all the rockers. Oh, they were pretty nasty. Yeah. We let them soak overnight, but. I clean right up. Just takes a little bit of time. Just like everything. <laughs> this is the part of the show where we are wishing that we'd bought a parts washer. Yeah, I didn't even realize that they were so cheap. If I had realized I would have bought one months ago. It's one of my big regrets of this whole build. Because I've spent a lot of time scrubbing stuff. So Faith got the second cylinder head all cleaned up and prepped for us. Now we're going to install it. And we're most of the way to having the block done. Just wiping down the ceiling surface. So this is 
as clean as possible and then we'll put the head gasket on and then lower on the head and then we're mostly done. So the two dowel studs go into the engine block. These help align the gasket and the cylinder head. And then the gasket, just like the other side, says front. And it's on. That's all there is to it. We're ready to start making 500 horsepower. Just a little heavy. Just a little bit. So we're using all ARP hardware here to handle the power numbers that we're going to be making. I think this engine, if all goes according to plan, is going to see somewhere around 200 horsepower. If we're lucky. We got our new cam. Um, it's a RV and truck cam. Supposedly it's a stage one cam, whatever that means. I didn't look too much into stock specs versus what this thing is. But it's supposedly usable with no upgrades and it has a good idle and all of that. So I don't expect any power gains, but I don't expect any drivability loss either. So it should work. All right, so we got the cam all lubed up, tried to coat all of the uh, surfaces that make contact with anything with our assembly loop and then it just slides into its spot, tapped it in place, the mallet, just to get it seated all the way into the bearings and it's set. Uh, it definitely helped that I think that it was sitting out on the porch and it's 14 degrees outside so I think it fit into the bearings a little better but one step closer to the next step. I don't know what we're doing next. Um, I guess we're ready to start I push rods and then paint. Sweet! All right, so we got all the lifters in on this side, and now just pull off each rocker and drop the push rod through. A dab of lube. And we'll just put that back in. So um, to set the valve lash on these, they have hydraulic lifters, so we essentially just need to compress the lifter. So according to the manual, um, we put it at TDC, we'll start at cylinder one, so intake and exhaust valve are um, closed right now, so the lifter is all the way retracted, and then we've got all this slop. So we just tighten the nut down with the wrench that I misplaced again, so we just go until the slop is removed. And then we do three quarter turns from there. So that's a half, three quarter, the same on this side. So that now compresses the hydraulic lifter and now the valve lash is essentially set. So you just gotta go and there's a specific pattern of what valves you do at what setting, essentially whatever is got a closed valve, so we'll just go through and do that. together. Our next steps will be to clean up the block, get rid of all of the grease and oil and all of that, um, and then we should be able to start painting. So we have a lot more coming your way. Be sure to like and subscribe to follow along. High five. <laughs>